I'm live. Hello, everyone. Oh, I'm actually two minutes late. Uh oh. I hate when that happens. Oh, and now I'm freezing the screen. I'm not cold. No, I'm, I'm not cold. It's a beautiful day it was today, it turned out. In the end, I mean, it was kind of like starting out kind of gloomy and, and yucky and everything else. Oh, guys, I have so much to talk about today. So much is going on. It was such a busy, busy week. I mean, it was absolutely crazy. What am I doing here? I'm moving things around. Okay. First of all, I have a logo. <laughs> Isn't that something? It's Okay, let me explain this to you. Really super simple. So, Nettie P., um, my group, people who are on my team, are the sweet peas. Hi, Susie. Susie, did you get my email the other day? I, You know, you're not, you sent me an email and I never answered you. And I do not ever do that. I try to always answer emails right away. But I was so crazy that day. I wrote myself a note and I put it here on my desk and it got buried. And then I found it and I went, oh, nuts. I forgot to call her. So... If you still have a question, let me know and I will get in touch with you immediately because I probably might have an answer. Might not. <laughs> Hi, Carol. <laughs> so anyway, so much is going on right now. Um, it's just, just crazy, crazy, crazy. And here's the big news. Big news besides the logo. Oh, I started to tell you about this. Um... I do still, okay, 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 let's talk tomorrow, if you have a chance, I think, let me see what's tomorrow, tomorrow's Thursday, yes, I'll be at the Warnersville Library tomorrow night from 5 to 7, but I will be in my office most of the day tomorrow getting ready for the, po for the libraries and all that stuff, so yeah, give me a call, or I'll give you a call or something, and we'll talk about it, uh, so, Hi, Barb. So my team is called the Sweet Peas from Nettie P. And this flower is on a sweet pea. Um, that is what that is all about. And pink is my favorite color. So we have a pink sweet pea and we've greeting cards to make and send them. I was pretty happy with that. It was simple, easy, done, right? <laughs> Yes, Susie, that sounds good. Okay. So there's the logo. What else do I have to tell you? <laughs> Ta-da! There's a new catalog. And I can only show you the cover. I can't show you anything in it. <clears throat> but I can tell you that if you are on my team, that means you're a demonstrator. And you have probably gotten it today. And if you didn't get it today, you'll get it tomorrow. But you're going to get it pretty soon. Now, if you're not a demonstrator, I will be getting catalogs, I think, tomorrow. So, if you're in a big hurry and you want to see them, get in touch with me and you can come pick one up. Or I will get them to you. Uh, I'll be bringing them with me to the library, so anybody who wants one, I will have, I'll have them at the library for you. If you want it before you see me at the library, let me know, and I'll see that you get it. Okay, um, library, speaking of which, first week, first Thursday of the month, Warnersville, 5 to 7 p.m., Second Thursday of the month, Robazonia, 1.30. That is the 13th of April. Third Thursday, United Church of Christ of Robazonia from 1 to 3. That um, is to the public. Anybody can come. And that's that. <laughs> so the library is three weeks in a row now. Um, and actually, I have to limit it there because the fourth week, there's other stuff happening. Okay. Um, so, 
the annual catalog, there's a ton of news going with the annual catalog. First of all, there is a um, last chance list. The last chance list is online. If you want me to send you a copy, send me an email and I will send you one uh, via email. I tried to pull it down and sort it, get rid of the, the other languages so that everything's in English um, and kind of try to get it sorted by what category it is, stamp sets, bundles, that sort of thing. I found it to get very confusing, sorted or not sorted. It just was confusing um, because there's a lot of things on the last chance list. If you look at it online, that say that something's discontinued. Well, it turns out that some stamp sets, for example, I'm trying to think of one. Oh, I know the one I showed last week, the lighting the way. Okay, they came out with that. You can have your choice of photopolymer or cling. Cling is the rubber. So they did discontinue one. And the other one is still available in the catalog. So when you look at the list, you think, oh my gosh, they're getting rid of that? That's such a cool set. They're not getting rid of it. They're only getting rid of the one medium. They're not getting rid of the other one. I don't remember which, which it was that they're getting rid of. Um, I can actually look real quick and tell you. I can't, um, I can't show you in here, but I can tell you. Tell lighting the way... Let me find it, page 24. Um, <clears throat> photopolymer is still available. So we got rid of the claim. Okay, so we're seeing the annual catalog. You know that because there is a new annual catalog, there's also new in colors. And they are very nice, I think. I really do like them. But... That means the old ones are going away, and that makes me sad because now we're getting rid of pale papaya, soft succulent, evening evergreen, polished pink. We're not getting rid of fresh phasia, though. It's staying. Yeah, I kind of wish uh, evening evergreen and soft succulent would have been staying, too. And I'll tell you what, I'm being very stubborn. That was one of the things that I've done all week is I've been rearranging all my my drawers and, and things like that because I have well, let me see if I can show you I might make you a little seasick I'm sorry but I think I can show you quick I have all of my papers you can't really see it all that great I have all my papers in files here they're in order by category so like neutrals are here brights are here then the next door down has subtles and regals so and then i have the in colors for this year in the top drawer and for last year or in the bottom drawer so i rearranged everything and put all the new colors because there was a color refresh and because there was a color refresh um all the colors got rearranged so i rearranged all my drawers and i was very very stubborn in my i i refused to get rid of the soft succulent and evening evergreen so i still have file folders for them in my drawer i'm not not getting rid of them i'm going to keep using them because i really do like those colors and they just come in so handy now maybe with the new papers that are coming out we won't use them and then I'll take them out of the drawer. But for right now, they're there and they're staying there. Um, we're also getting rid of some colors like Bermuda Bay. Yee. The Coastal Cabana is staying. Okay, so we still have that. We're bringing back Lemon Lime Twist, if anybody. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else? I guess I shouldn't tell you. I should let you wait until you see the catalog and see what's going on. Um, but it's kind of nice because you can buy bundles. Hi, Karen. You made it. <laughs> I was just talking about the catalog. So you didn't really miss anything. You know, the catalog, you've seen it. 
Um, and Karen is the one that alerted me to the fact that it was here. So I quick ran down and sure enough, mine was here too. And John ran out to the mailbox and got it for me. So, yep, here it is. And so what I thought I would do tonight, I thought that I would work with the old outgoing in colors because oh you're still in the car oh geez i thought i would work with the old ink colors um try to get rid of them because there's just it, it breaks my heart that they go away but they do every year it happens so i'm gonna make some cards with the old outgoing in colors like i told you they are polished pink pale papaya soft succulent evening evergreen fresh freezes in the mix but it's not going away it's going to stick around so okay so i am going to let's get to it but first wait before we get to it i'm going to just give you a real quick heads up here i'm going to kind of show you a little process that i went through today trying to figure out what cards i was going to do and it's kind of comical because um, Mary Fish, who is a demonstrator, I'm not even sure where she is. Uh, she has a, her, her, her company is called Stampin' Pretty. And she puts really nice tutorials out a lot. And I do look at her tutorials and I really, really like a lot of her cards. So the first card that I'm doing is her card. It is one that she came up with using the, um, uh, yeah, I, I, I have to think what they're called. <laughs> the radiating stitches dies. They're really cool. And so I'm going to start with that card. And then I'm going to make a card that I have made one like it before with circles. And you cut the circles in half and you arrange them into a cute little geometric shape. Except that I'm going to put that with the radiating, radiating stitches. So we're going to end up with three cards. And the third one is going to be if the first two had a baby. <laughs> okay, that's the easiest way I can put it. So, oh, what one more thing one more thing yeah before we get down to business um <laughs> let's see barb you win the card <laughs> i had to pull the card i had to pull a pull a name and it is barb so barb is going to win the card tonight oh let's see i need to find a post-it to write your name down so i don't forget that you get the card. <laughs> I found a post-it. Now I have to find a pen. Okay, Barb gets the card. It comes in handy for Barb because Barb doesn't make cards. Barb, what, your sister makes them. So she just keeps stocked up by cards that she wins. So it's good you're lucky enough to win some cards, right? Okay, so, whoops, doing this. I'm going to go back to that all on one screen. Get rid of the catalog. Get rid of my logo. I'm also working on my website, by the way, guys. So I can, I've been putting the films on my website, the, the videos, in fact, Karen had called me today because she couldn't find my video on Facebook. And I directed her to YouTube because um, I'm also on YouTube as Annette Pearson. And so if you go to YouTube, usually you can uh, find me there. You can find them easier. So I'm also trying to put them up on my website, which my website is www.nettypstamping.com and they're there there's not a lot there it's not the most attractive website i'm going to warn you ahead of time but i do have the videos there and that definitely is the easiest place to find them 
because I put them there, except I don't think I put this one, the last week's one up there yet. So that's the problem. I, I haven't been keeping up with it and it has old links. So they don't take it to the catalog when they should. So there's a lot wrong with it that I'm trying to get fixed, but it takes time and time I have to put into the libraries and things like that so i'm sorry it just isn't updated very well okay let's get to this so here's the first card that i'm going to make this is the one this is not exactly the same as um mary's but it's very close okay it's going to have the radiating stitches dies, which I love these dies. I really do. This is what they look like. And you know, something I wanted to look and see if they're being carried over in the catalog. I haven't checked that yet. And I'm going to just quick look because I have the catalog here. There was a, a did, did you guys see sarah on the pick line today um the pick line looks crazy because for those of you who are not demonstrators the demonstrators pre-orders started yesterday and so it's crazy i saw a lot of boxes with red dots and i think the red dots mean those are expedited <laughs> it looks like there's a lot of them um, so everybody's paying a little extra for that expedited shipping because the shipping took so long last time. And I do not see that, these stitched rectangles in here, but that doesn't mean they're not here. They might be on like an online exclusives or something. I think that might be where they were in the first place. <clears throat> was the online exclusive so okay so what what i did is i took evening evergreen and that is my base okay so my card base is evening evergreen and it's your standard card base size okay then i took soft succulent and i used this is the biggest one of the frames and i cut it out okay so I did not want to make you sit here while I cut all these out. So I'm just going to show you what I did. Okay, so there's that. That's all I needed with the big one. So the next thing. Yeah, I, I kind of think that's right, Susie. I think they're just online exclusives. And as long as they still have them there for sale, it doesn't matter. Um, they're, they're not in the catalog, though. Okay, so we have this frame. Next thing I did, we need a white. <laughs> With a little one here. Oh, and by the way, when you, when you cut out the big frame, okay, when you cut out, that's why I have this here. You cut out the big frame, you have to use this one inside and cut the two of them together. So you lay them both down like this on top of your paper as they go through like that on your plate, okay? So you're, you have your paper and you have those two together so that this comes so that the inside cuts out. Otherwise, you're going to end up with something like this this whole the stitches but the whole inside is going to be there too so okay so we have cut this out and then i cut this with white so and i left it because i want the inside that's going to be that part okay then I took, okay, here's what's left. This round one and this round one. And I took those two round ones and I cut every color that's polished pink, 
pale papaya. There's your evening evergreen. Polished pink. I cut them in the big and the small circles. All the colors. Now, instead of using fresh freesia, I used an old purple just because I could. And I had it here. Fresh freesia is coming back. So my purpose here was to use up old colors. So I decided to use this. It's purple posy uh, from like a couple of years back. And now I have all these colors. I have my frame. I have my insert. And I'll need ribbon and I'll need a tag. But what we're going to do is we're going to take some dimensionals strips. <clears throat> we're going to put them around. All around the, the opening of the front and around the outside edge. So besides the new catalog and all of that rigmarole, I, we had new carpet installed yesterday. And, you know, I really wasn't thinking. I, I wasn't thinking that there was going to be that much, that I was, you know, much involvement for me. It was going to be a guy coming and he was going to be moving all the furniture. So we didn't have to worry about that, right? So I thought, okay, easy peasy. Well, the guy, when I got the appointment, I asked the guy, I said, um, so is there anything I need to do to get ready? And he says, well, no, he says, everything's going to be, you know, we're going to do everything basically, except you should probably disconnect all your electronics and move your small stuff out of the way. So like, you know, don't leave any cat. Well, I have glassware everywhere and the rug was coming in the dining room, the living room. And in our dining room, I have like a, basically a china closet. It, it's a hutch. It's not really a china closet, but it's full of glass. And then there's a corner cupboard that's full of stoneware and, and pottery. And... These are all things that I really don't want anybody messing with. And then we have a liquor cabinet that is really full because, I mean, really heavy because it has a lot of liquid in it. <laughs> so I have all these things that need to be boxed up and emptied out so the guy can move these pieces. And I really just didn't give it any thought. Okay, so you see how I did that. I had that all around. And now it's all raised. Now this insert, inside piece, I'm going to put in um, just with glue. So, yeah, so there we, that, that was what I ended up doing all day without really having to think anything of it. I mean, I, I just didn't think, you know, didn't think, oh, yeah, that's right. We're going to have to empty out all these cabinets and stuff. We have another cabinet that's all full of CDs and DVDs. And oh, so now the carpet's in and I love it. It looks so pretty. I'm really happy with it. <laughs> but now I have to put everything back. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so that's going a whole lot slower. I mean, I, you know, I was really trying to get things done quick with the emptying out because I just, I was excited about getting this new carpet, but the, uh, putting things back and going as fast. <laughs> okay. So 
Now we are going to just take these colors and we are going to just arrange them however we want. And in the middle, there's going to be something. I think I made this a birthday card for the other one. So I'm going to probably do the same. Have it going right through here. So these can go up a little bit. There can be kind of an empty space there. Okay, and they can just get glued down. You could put them in on dimensionals if you wanted to, but you don't really have to. I kind of like the way they look inset inside that. inside the frame I'm watching because I have a spot right there that's flat and I do not want that to I want to use it but I don't want it to show up okay so I put my circles on something else that I thought would be cute with these and I might try this actually I might try it now <laughs> is to make a little bouquet I think it would need some well make some nice colors you would need some stems and some leaves i'd have to dig around for for the right dyes for the stems and the leaves and stuff so i won't won't hold you up with that right now <laughs> we got this all figured out um i'm going to stamp okay i'm using the this is an old stamp set it's already gone it's already discontinued it's called flowing flowers and i just like it um i'm pretty sure it's not available at this point and but i like the fonts of it so that's why I decided to use it. So I'm going to use it for the happy birthday. <sighs> well. Mm. Oh, okay. I knew I mounted all this stuff and had it all ready to go. And I'm going to do that in the evening evergreen. And I'm going to do my typical cutting it down. I, I just like to put it on a piece of white that's a little too big so I can cut it down to the size that I want it. So I'm going to make it a little bit narrower, just a little. And then I'm going to cut off the edges. Oh, that's way too big. So there's that, but I'm going to fancy up the edges a little bit with the uh, this happy labels this um this punch it's kind of funny i looked at it and i thought well that's weird it reminded me of tickets like the little you know you know when you get those tickets that say keep this coupon or whatever <laughs> like uh, strip tickets they call them okay and that's what it reminded me of and i thought okay why why do I want a punch that's going to make my labels look like strip tickets? But I got it. And I'm not, I don't regret it. I have used this so much and I do like it. It just, I don't know, it just fancies up the edges a little bit. 
So that's going to go right here. I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of it. And then I'm going to put a little glue here. Do I have that up? Yeah, a little glue here. Dimensionals here. There. There. I don't want it sinking in, so I'm putting dimensionals like a lot. Just put that right there. And then I'm going to put a bow, ribbon, bow, whatever. Um, okay, I don't appear to have one of those open, so I'm going to use this. So did we, I guess we lost Karen. Um, Karen must have been on her way home. She's at a baseball game. She goes to a lot of baseball games. I guess all her grandkids are into baseball and her husband's into baseball. So they go to a lot of games. Okay, this is not tightening up on me very well. There. And I know I talked to her a little earlier today. And she said, I'm going to try and get there tonight. Hopefully, if we get home early enough. And I guess now she's on her way home. <laughs> okay, that looks good there. Oh, and I also have these 2021-2023 in color opal rounds which i don't know how i miss them but i miss them and somebody ordered them from me and i said what are they and then i saw what they were and i was like oh my gosh how did i miss these all along I haven't been using them because i did not see them so now i know they're here and i like them so Now I'm using them. There's a new tool for the take your pick tool. Um, it has a rotary cutter and a uh, like an exacto knife kind of blade. Oh, Karen is there. Yes, I love these. This radiating radiating stitches dies. They're so neat. So I'm going to pull a couple of these. Oh opal rounds and just stick them on here. I'm not putting them in the center because I don't want them to look that calculated. So I'm just going to kind of put them in here everywhere, every so often. Yeah, I know Connie was with me on uh, the uh, campaign to keep the evening evergreen and saw succulent. So, like I said, I have two piles, two packs of them both in my file drawer, and I refuse to move them. They are staying right there. Okay, so on the inside, I am going to do again, like I said, this is... Uh, a discontinued stamp set, but I'm using it anyway because I like it. Time for a happy dance. And here's a little, some flowers. So I'm going to just put them, let's see, I think I'll use, I'll use papaya this time for them. Oh, that didn't come out very good. My pale papaya is very pale. Okay, maybe we won't use that. That needs to be re-inked. We'll get on that. Um, guess I'll use the fresh freesia. All 
Are you home now, Karen? Or are you still in the car? <laughs> Must be the dye. I mean, it must be the stamp because the fresh facial looks the same. And I know that that's inked up. I'm just going to use Evening Evergreen for the time for a happy dance. You're home. <laughs> that's good. A little glue on here. Yeah, we're just trying to use up some of these in colors, in color paper, because I certainly have enough of it at this point. And there we are. Happy birthday. Okay, that's that one. Now, um, as I said, I evolved. That one was Mary Fish's, and it pretty much is just like her card. So the next one I want to do is the circles. And I have done this card before. I know I have, but... Oh, and I decided I was going to do different colors this time. Okay. I'm looking. I'm saying, no, why do I not have those cut out when I cut everything else out? So what I did, I decided I was going to do this, and I cut out a whole bunch of circles. Okay. All different sizes. I grabbed the... Um, oh, where are they? Here they are. This was layering circles, dies, and basically you use the smallest and go up with four. You only need four different sizes. So I started with this one, two, three, four. I cut one inch, I punched one inch circles. That's what's over here for the inside. I'll show you that then. So I just took these four and I just went nuts. I just cut a whole bunch of circles. Okay. And then I decided where I was going to go with them as I was doing this. So here's what I came up with. Only with this one, I'm going to use the peach or pale papaya soft succulent and white okay um i thought that one looked very masculine sort of i don't know and i it, it, there's nothing wrong with that i mean we are always looking for masculine cards i just wanted to make this one different that's all Okay, so I have three layers here. Now, I wanted more of the papaya to stick out. So that layer there should be four by five and a quarter. But then I cut it down an, another eighth of an inch. So it's a little so smaller than that. And then I took everything on this one down a quarter inch from the other one. Polished pink would have popped with that stamp. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and actually, I think that was what I did on the sample. Yep, on polish pink. <laughs> I guess I just decided to do something different. So, okay, so what I'm doing here... Just pull out colors, and it doesn't have to be the same pattern as this. Just decide what colors you want to go with. So my biggest circle I'm going to start with is uh, Evening Evergreen, just 
for the heck of it. And I think, yeah, there's two there. Okay. And then the next one, I think I'll do this Fresh Freesia next. Which is not Fresh Freesia. <laughs> the Fresh Freesia that's not Fresh Freesia. And then... Let's see what else do I have? Oh, pale papaya. And polished pink. Maybe I want to go with the polished pink here. And I'll make the pale papaya the little one. Yeah, I like that. Now what we have to do is we're going to lay these out just like this. We have to cut these in half. And this it sounds, I mean, it should be simple, right? It's not. You want to make sure that you cut these right in half. You don't, so like, make sure you get them in between grid lines here and they don't move. Because if you don't get them directly in half, they really offset weird. And actually, that's what happened with this one. I kind of offset it a little I cut the one off. It did not end up in half the way it should have. And it is kind of easy to get these off. But you know what? This is such a simple card to make and look impressive. And everybody that gets them, I mean, I've made them before. And I know I showed you how to make them before. Um, and I used the end colors that are out right now because they were so bright. And it really looked cute. But I just wanted, this is a different design. It's a different, like the one that I did before had them set different. Because you can set these all different ways and make them look different depending on what you're doing. So I'm going to set these I want to set them all that they're all kind of off to the one side and then it looks like they're joined here. So that the center that center one is is together. But you're putting something in the middle, so they're not going to look exactly alike. And we already know that, and that's okay. <clears throat> and I hope that made sense. I know I'm kind of babbling a little bit, but... These look really neat, these circles, if you pick a color and go with different shades of that one color, like for example, green or blue, um, if you like, especially the blue with the um, misty moonlight, night of navy, maybe like balmy blue in the middle, that would look really pretty. Did I mention that misty moonlight's coming back? I think somebody said something about that. <clears throat> I'm glad about that because Misty Moonlight was a good color. But then in the in colors, there's Boho Blue. That's also an in color. Oh, I just said that. Um, another blue. And then there's another gray. And they got rid of Sarah's sand, which was one of the ones I used a lot. I think I have three packs of that that I have to get rid of now, too. Because I used a lot. I liked it. Okay, so here's, there, there we are. Everything's set off to the side. Now, 
if you put them together, they would look like that. And that looks kind of cool too, right? Uh, I'm going to use, I need a piece of papaya, I think. No, I don't like that. I think I'll use this again. I kind of like the way that looks like that. That looks kind of cute. So you see, you get a different look depending where you put it. Like this way, it looks like that. Okay, everybody with me? You, you can put it like that. It looks kind of like it's revolving. So it, it looks different how depending how you put it. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this with, I did congratulations on the other one, but I think this one's going to say something different. This might be another happy birthday. Yep. Because we always need some happy birthdays, right? We always need to have your birthday cards. Did any of you guys place orders today or yesterday? I, I mean, I was up at 8 o'clock yesterday morning post play, placing my order. And uh, it was shipped today. And it was shipped overnight. So I will have it tomorrow. So that was pretty cool. And it was a very large order because I ordered all the colors. I ordered all the markers, the in colors, the regular new colors. I ordered all the new pads, ink pads. Oh, I also found out that if you have like, okay, for example, let me show you this. I have lemon lime twist and it is coming back. Now, this is one of the old stamp pads that opened up like that. Well, apparently when they changed the pads to these, they also changed the formula. So you can see I have two different stamp pads here, right? There, it's it's two very different ink pads, all right? They changed the formula of the pad. So the re -inkers, so like I my first thought was I have this one and I have Berry Burst. That one also came back. And I thought, oh, okay, that's cool. I'll just get re -inkers and I can re-ink these pads and keep using them. Well, the formula changed. So the re-inkers on the old pads, like basically you have to buy a re-inker when you get your pads because the new re-inkers will not work on these pads and will make them all funky and they'll get weird and fall apart. <laughs> so I just thought I'd mention that just in case you have old pads. Um, and you, if you have re-inkers, you're, you're in, but if you don't, you're not. Okay, I'm going to glue these down. <laughs> I'm, I'm really getting off track today, ain't I? Or am I? Okay. Now this is going to have to go up on dimensionals. I should have left a little more space here. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take pieces that I have here, okay, scraps of dimensionals, and I'm going to place them like here in the middle so that it sticks to them. Let's 
see if I need more. I don't usually do this, but every now and then it works better. And in this case, I think it does. Because I want them in the middle there. There we go. Another pretty simple card. I'm going to throw on a couple of these. There. Inside. Yep, always got to do the inside too. <laughs> wow, you stayed up till 2 a.m. Holy mackerel. This was last night? You mean it like as soon as they opened up and you were put in a waiting room? I started mine at 8. It was a little after 8 yesterday morning. And I did not have to wait. But I did keep having trouble. It, it kept freezing on me. And I think they were having technical difficulties, to tell you the truth. Because it was it would freeze up on me. And then it would open up. And I'd have no problems. And I could just enter, enter, enter. And then, boom, it would freeze up again. And then... <laughs> and then I could enter, enter, enter. It was weird. Okay, so what I'm doing next is I cut these one-inch circles. I cut, cut them all in half. And I just glued them across the bottom. Like so. Stick one bead of glue going across here. And I think time for a happy dance is appropriate with this card too. Now these circles are an inch. And this insert is four inches. So four of these circles should fit exactly right. And they would if I wouldn't have overlapped it. Well, it's okay. It's good. It's all good. <laughs> right? Or oh, we have to celebrate this. I like that. Use that. Oh, hi, Lisa. Got up at 2.30 and was in the waiting for 30 minutes. Froze up on me when you were entering. I, I must have gotten out and back in about, oh, five or six times. But it didn't, it wasn't kicking me out. It was just freezing. And it seemed like I couldn't get it to unfreeze. Unless I just kind of got out and got back in. So I, I, you got, did you get your catalog? I showed that at the beginning. <laughs> so exciting. I have tons of cardstock I have to get rid of that is discontinued and I don't need any more. I'll figure that out. What I'm going to do with that, I might put it in with my discontinued stamps and sell it cheap just to get it out of here or use it at the libraries. Okay, here we are. Happy birthday. We have to celebrate this. Okay, now I promised you I was going to show you the third card. Yeah, I, I got mine today too. And so did Karen. So I guess that's the thing. It just came out today. I'm taking this, which 
I told you this came from Mary Fish. This, which is one we did before, we're going to see what happens when we put the two of them together and they have a baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, and if I can find my pieces, here they are. Here they are. Okay. So again, I'm going to use that will be my base. Then I'm going to put this piece or maybe evening evergreen will be my base. Oh, I like that much better. Yeah, I'm going to use evening evergreen, but I don't have a piece here. So I'm going to quick cut one because it's still in my drawer. Remember, <laughs> I refuse to get rid of it. Okay, guys, I'm I'm still here. <laughs> I'm just trying to dig out a piece of evening evergreen that I can cut for a base because I think I like that better with the pale papaya. So there's the base. Then this was what happens when you use this die and don't put another die. Like if you put this die in here, it'll cut out a hole. If you don't put this die in here, it does not cut out a hole. So you have that, which is fine. That's what I wanted this time around. So that's going to go there. Then what I thought I would do is use a piece of this and this and set them like that. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of different angles and geometric things going on here. Then we're going to take our circles. Yeah. We're going to just do it all. <laughs> um, I'm still hung up on this. Doing the. No, I'm not going to do that now. I'm hung up on doing uh, flowers with those circles. But I'll do that later. Okay, so colors, I think I will stick with these colors. Do this time or not? Okay, there we go. I'm missing a size here. Yeah, because these two are the same. What am I missing? <laughs> there, no. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, that's it. The biggest one. There's that one. There's that one that one and that one okay <laughs> see what happens when you fill up a whole box full of circles and then you can't figure out which is which okay so again i'm going to cut these in half 
I'm going to make them fit inside this thing. I do not have a sample of this because I did not make this yet. This was just an idea that I had to try. So this is true playing, truly playing here. So I, I'm going to ask the next question. Everybody was up all night placing orders and we all got our orders in early and we're all getting our orders quick. Um, how many of you still have stuff left from the last catalog that you haven't used yet? I do. <laughs> I, it cracks me up every time I do that. And I always say I'm not ordering a lot because I just did not use everything. And then I start ordering and next thing I know, I got five things coming that I don't. Mm -hmm. Now, actually, I did do pretty well this time. I only ordered, you just received it today. You're, oh, the catalog. Okay. Yeah, uh, me too. But I was on, of course, we were on with the, <laughs> with the digital edition. <laughs> oh, God, love it. <sighs> I ordered one sweet and two bundles. That's it. The rest of my order was all the colors. <laughs> so I didn't think that was too bad. Okay, these have to be arranged that they're going to fit on this piece of paper. So I'm going to... See what I can do to get them to fit there or come darn close to it. That will work. Yes, that will work. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Karen, did you finally, were you able to, you were able to find my last Facebook, right? Of course you do, Lisa. That you're telling me you have stamp sets that you haven't used yet? Really? <laughs> I've seen your stamp room. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty close. I think you actually have maybe passed me. I don't know. I know there was one catalog that I think I had every stamp set in that one catalog, but I haven't done that since. That, my friends, is why I keep trying to sell used stamp sets to get them out of here. And then I know some people say to me, but they're not used. <laughs> they, they weren't used. They're like not, they're fine. They're, yeah. yeah, I know. Okay, so this is um, how these are going to go. And I'm going to have a very thin saying, something, let me see what I can find, something very one line. Mm, I don't see anything that I like. Maybe just a hello. Yeah, that'll go. That would look actually very cute. You just put hello in the middle. Then it could be on a thin line. Um, what's a color that we did not use? Darn. Okay. Um, I'm trying to decide what color to make.
the greeting. You know what? I think it's going to be white. Yes. And it can actually be a little bit thinner than this. And just a tad bit. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Repeat the hello. Oh, that's a good idea. That would look cute. Oh, good, Karen. Okay, we'll do it anything. Evergreen. And I'm going to just go. Whoops. Now I'm going to put the two of them on. Try and get them centered. And even with each other. Oops. That wasn't cool. See, I'm trying to rush because we're going over again. Oh, that's way too far over this way. There. Okay, that's pretty good. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to just put one hello, and it's going to go right in that center. I'm going to make this... Two in um, let me see two and a half two it's four eighths five eighths two and five eighths and the center of that <laughs> this is gonna be interesting two and five eighths and then this has to hit the center okay. there now, how am I going to attach that? <laughs> oh, I'll figure that out. Let's see. Yeah, there's room for a little bit of a... Dement oh, I got dimensions all over the place now. Okay, that will fit right in there. As will this. And this. I had just little pieces of dimensionals here. Yeah, you're right. I, you know, 
I don't know. There was just something about it I didn't like, and I don't know what, but I, yeah, it'll be okay. Yeah, because I wanted the hello to come out right in the center. So, now, yeah. <laughs> I think it's ready. Except for that one piece isn't sticking up, and I don't want it sticking up. So, I'm going to put another dimensional underneath and hope. Yeah, that helped. Okay. Now, I'm going to glue this to this. I'm just going to mess here. I was prepping for my library classes, and I had to make kits up because, oh, it's a long story. <laughs> um, but I, yeah, I had to make kits so that I don't have somebody taking whole sheets of designer series paper that she's not doing anything with except taking them home. Um, long story. Okay, that piece is going on next. And I think this should go up on dimensionals. So this was our use up old in colors Wally Ham. <laughs> and I think I did a pretty good job here. I made three cards all using the old in colors, the outgoing in colors. Use the radiating stitches dies. And this one I'm going to put a couple of these things on too. And there we go. Hi, Laura. Where's Laura? Susie, where's Laura? <laughs> okay. So, these are the three. 60-ish. Yes, it is, isn't it? So, there's that one, and that one, and this one. So, they're all circles. They're all outgoing in colors. And this is if these two had a baby. 
<laughs> okay. How's that for her? Let's get rid of all of this debris here. There we go. Okay. Hope you like them. Oh, it said she was watching. I missed that. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad you liked it. And here's also some. Yeah, that one's the same as that. That was one other one that I did. That was the sample that I did with that one. Um, just to make it a little different. Okay. Hope you like them. And I'm glad you all joined me. And I hope to catch you all again next week. If not at the libraries, if you're at the libraries, I will have catalogs with me. I know that, see, Carol, you need one. Um, I'll have one next week. I'll also be taking some to uh, Jane if you want me to leave yours there, or I can just take it, bring it to the library to you. Either way. Um, just let me know if you're not going to be there and I'll leave it with Jane. Okay. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Have a wonderful evening. Um, and I'll see you all next week with new stuff. Bye-bye. <laughs>